Alright guys, what's going on? D-Man6996 here, and welcome to my heartbreak video. Now, um, this was a tier 7 match on Himmelsdorf, as you can see it right now. Um, now this match, this match, I was pretty pissed off at my team after this. Um, it was really disappointing. It was my first actual heartbreak that I've ever had in a game. Or, I guess, yeah, in a World of Tanks game. I've never, I've had, you know, a T-150 of the one where it was, you know, it wasn't a bad one. I only got, like, 2k damage, but we lost, and it was me against, like, four tanks. It kind of sucked, but I got over it. Because it wasn't that big of a deal. Well, this one, this one's a little bit different. The worst matchmaking you ever going to see. Now, if you heard that, that's actually Jingles. Um, I installed Jingles voice mod pack. It's actually quite hilarious when you hear him talking about when you shoot someone, he starts laughing or something like that. It's it's really enjoyable. I, I do recommend you get it if you do really like Jingles. Um, he is a great YouTuber. He's more on the fun side. If you want a more serious type of person, you should look at Quickie Baby. He gives you better strategic guides and stuff like that. Otherwise, I love Jingles. I love the content that he puts out, especially his War Thunder stuff. Since I'm now becoming a big War Thunder player. But that one I was not expecting. And that shot will actually turn... We'll, yeah, we'll just come back to that in the end. Towards the end of the video. So that shot was not a shot that... Or that was damage that we did not need. Now there I rushed the shot, guys. When coming around the corner, you want to take a little bit with these .47 accuracy guns. You want to wait a little bit before you shoot. Let's see, we're just sitting here yet. The grill is saying he's stuck. Yeah, well, that's great. He does become unstuck because, yeah, we'll find it out. Soon. We take out the KV-1S. We get the other KV-1S to miss. And, uh, see so yeah, how we're... Kind of coming up here trying to get him off a little bit, maybe rush a shot. I'm sure he's probably not reloaded. I see I got the side of his turret, so I take it. And I do hit him. Do 391 damage to him. But he does take out my, or he does damage my KB1S um, teammate. So he's not moving again, so I take another shot at him. Aimed right at the side of his turret again. And he's not shooting for me. So my KB1S teammate takes him out. Now I see this Yagpan on the other, on the outside. And how did that shot miss? I don't know where that shot hit. I wonder if that's what hit the side of the building. But that makes no sense to me. How that could have missed. I was aiming at the side of his tank. I had a good couple of feet on either side. Or a good six, seven feet of opening. I'm not exactly sure on this. But I got the top of the Egg Panzer. Take the shot. Hit him. Now I'm here. It's just a mess. Um... I want to stop, make sure that we can get everyone. I see the ARL, I take the shot, get rid of him. And I uh, see the Egg Panzer. Not too worried about him because I see my teammates coming around the corner. So he takes the shot, misses at me again. So now it's 6 4, and I see that they're capping. I'm like, alright, we have four minutes to get down there. Well, all of a sudden I look at the map, we only have two people defending the cap. I'm like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. And then three people start capping. I'm like, oh, we better not lose this one because of that. And then I see this Churchill, so I stop, aim, shoot. He bounces off me. So that's great. Um, now we're going to come around here. We're going to take out all this DW2. Leave me alone. Churchill takes out our KB1S partner. Now the reason I stopped to take the RD out is because he can become a problem later. He can quick turn around and shoot me instead of taking out the Churchill 1. Or Churchill 7, excuse me. So I take here, shoot at his turret, and it bounces. So I'm like, oh, I gotta go, I gotta go. We only have 53 seconds, or 53, yes, 53 seconds. So I'm like, oh, gotta flank him. I know the Churchills do not have good gun depression. So we stop, take him out, and start cruising down toward the flag. Now, it's 8, 8 on 8 right now. Um, 35 seconds left of the cab. I'm like, oh, crap. I should be able to make it there in time. I should be able to. I'm shouting to my team to defend the base. And this A43 did a pretty good job of trying to reset the cap while he still could. I see that we have four enemies on the cap. I'm like, oh, this is not going to be good. So we're still heading around. We There is an enemy SU-100 in our base. 
Which I didn't realize at the time. Alright, so we're coming up on the enemies right now. Just coming around the corner. We still have lots of time, thank goodness. Thank you to that A43. So we stop. Take a shot at the tiger. Now it seems like whenever people shoot me in the side or the rear, when I'm in a tiger, I get set on fire. Whenever I shoot a tiger in the rear, they never get set on fire. That makes no sense. So we have the grill right here, at, or the grill, excuse me. So I decide that I need to take this this guy out right now. He could pose to be a problem later on. Because I don't want to take unnecessary damage right now. I see the tiger is smart and taking cover. I'm like, oh, maybe I can shot this VK. Rush the shot, because I know he's going back in cover. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I better not then. So I decide to take the shot. And uh, he pops out again for some reason. So I get a shot at his front, take it. And get rid of him. Now I do see that this AMX AC46 is flanking me at the time. I know that he's flanking me. But I see this SU100 and as you can see here I'm looking at him because he, our uh, T4 or T3485 just got taken out by him. So I'm kind of like oh I need to I need to go take him out. But then I see the tiger keeps popping out. And I believe if I would redo this over again I would probably I don't know what I would do. But in this situation, I should have tried to get closer into cover instead of that. Because he sh freaking shoots me, sets me on fire, and takes my track out. Now I fix my track, and then I shoot him, but there's nothing I can do. He's got me. Now here I try and get into cover, but there's nothing I can do. I have part of my hole sticking out, and then he gets me. And yep, I end with 4k damage. Now this AMX was talking big, even though he didn't do much this entire game. Which really sucks. And then we have our Artie just being a little piece of shit and going AFK after he finds out that I die. Which really pisses me off about some Artie players. They just leave or go drown themselves after it's like one on three or something. I usually never do that. Especially if it's a higher tier game. If I'm in my like tier three artil artillery or something. I try and, you know, try and fight, but... <sighs> this. It's people like this that piss me off. I mean, the enemy team, they did a pretty good job, but they, no one was that spectacular. I'm not saying I'm amazing, but I'm the only person on my team that did anything. And that's what pisses me off about people. <sighs> if you can tell, this game did not happen that long ago. This was probably... 20 minutes ago that I played this game after while rec or after recording this <sighs> and this Amex is you know trying to say oh ha, ha, I got you you never saw me coming I, I was going to get you well buddy I did see you coming but I was trying to save the DW2 so that's why I took out the SU100 yeah, I keep telling good game, good game. So it was a, it was a really good game. My team sucked. Their team did okay, but they, but they were just a better team. That's all I can say. So this game is done. I took some screenshots of the post game. So um, let's go look at that, shall we? So, uh, yeah, guys, it's uh, quite depressing. 71k credits, but that's with a premium account, but, I mean, still. Luckily, I got a Battle Hero med medal, otherwise I would not have received um, that much, because I would have gotten the losers' um, credits and XP. So, yeah, it's a good thing they introduced that, because otherwise I would have been pissed.
I mean, at least I received that, but, I mean, don't you think that's kind of what I deserve instead of that? But, yeah, I damaged 11 people out of the 15 enemy players. Isn't that fantastic? And, uh, so that's 1.4k XP, um, without a premium account, about 2.12k XP. And, uh, so I am really, really close to getting my IS-3. After this game, I think I'm about 5k away. So expect a review on this shortly. Um, I probably will not be selling this tank just because I love this tank so much. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I just really love the IS. There's just something about it that makes me like it. I don't know. It's not, there's not too many things wrong with it. It's got good armor, good mobility, an alright gun. Penetration is on the lower side, but that's not too bad. I mean, it's kind of on par with tier 7s. I mean, the Tiger has 203, which is nice. But, yeah, I'll probably keep the IS and um, expect a review in the next week or two of the IS. Especially, probably a video of it. Um, I have an idea of it for... I have a bunch of replays of it in tier 9 games that I've done really well in. So, expect a video of it just in tier 9 games as well as the garage review. Um, let's look at the second pitcher now. Yeah, that's how the battle ended. Our GW Panther did nothing the entire game. Isn't that great? <sighs> yeah, their AMX only did 1.5k damage. Tiger, I guess, didn't do, didn't do terrible, but he would have been a lot bigger help to the team if he actually would have gone up the hill. And then we probably would have won the game if he would have gone up the hill. So I wouldn't have been worrying about the Tiger, because we would have killed him on the hill, hopefully. But yeah, look at that. I'm the only one that's got over 1,000 XP, and I have 1.4. I mean, honestly, team, this game really, really upset me. Um, if you guys watch Quickie Baby, or if you're subscribed to him, you seen that you saw that he did a heartbreak video maybe a week or two back of the IS-2. Now, the IS and the IS-2 are very similar in most categories. Um, they both have a 122 millimeter gun. They both pretty much have the same armor, I believe. Stuff like that. Well, he got like 4.9k damage or something like that. So, you know, to know that you were on par with something that Cookie Baby did was pretty cool. Especially in a tank that's very similar to yours. But, um, you know, I can't compare myself to Cookie Baby because I'm not. He's a much better player than me. Um,. You know, I try to get better every day. I strive to get better. But yeah, this stuff... This stuff really makes you mad. Um, so yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry I wasn't a... Uh, so I wasn't in a cheerful mood because... Yeah, this just happened. But, um... Yep. Expect some more videos of the IS in the coming weeks but all guys thanks for watching you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys all later